So it's been about a week since Recordbox 7 was released and I went ahead and downloaded it, ran my USB sticks through it, and used those USB sticks to play a whole week's worth of gigs. And let me go through three of my favorite new features in Recordbox 7 that might make it worth upgrading if you play on USB sticks. So first and foremost has to be the new thing that they call the collection radar. So how this works is it'll give you recommendations on songs that'll mix with other tracks in your library. And all you have to do is load a track to a deck, go ahead and click right here to get to the collection radar. And it'll go ahead and just select the deck and it'll go through your library to see what other songs might fit in with the track that you have loaded to the deck. Now this can be really useful if you use Recordbox in performance mode, but if you just use USB sticks and use Recordbox in export mode, this could still be handy because it allows you to at least go through your library and see other songs that you might want to put in the same playlist as a song that's loaded that you might not have thought of. And it's just a good way to kind of go through your library, if especially if you have a larger library and you might not be able to think of all the songs in there off the top of your head. Now the second feature that I found myself using a lot in this week of using Recordbox 7 is this right here. This is the horizontal sub browser window. So as you can see now my browser window is split into two and what I like doing with this is having my collection here at the top then on the lower window having my playlists uh, open right here. And what I like about this is it makes creating new playlists or editing playlists so much faster than say the previous versions of Recordbox or even in Serato. I've wished and wanted a feature like this in Serato because previously to make a playlist you'd have to click and drag and you wouldn't be able to see your library in two separate views like this and this is so much better as a way to look at your library and a way to kind of go through everything at the same time while still being able to see what you've added to that new playlist that you're working on. Now, I will say that Recordbox had a horizontal version of this here, but I don't think this is the best version of, or the best kind of layout for this. I think a horizontal version, so this one is way more useful because you're able to see so much more information than having to split your window vertically in the previous view. It makes me wonder what took so long to add this, but I'm so glad that it's here. And finally, something that I've always wished that Recordbox had was in the preferences window, you now have the ability to search for features. One of my biggest gripes with Recordbox in the past was the fact that all of the preferences are buried under all of these different categories and then in different sub menus, and it can be quite a headache to find exactly what you're looking for but with the search feature I'm able to find exactly the setting I'm looking for right away. It's very similar to going through the preferences or settings on your iPhone so it's really intuitive and it's just a great way to work especially with a preferences window that's as complicated as Recordbox has been in the past. So those are my three top new features in Recordbox 7. If you're a Recordbox user definitely at least install Recordbox 7. You can still keep Recordbox 6 and, and keep Recordbox 7 at the same time and kind of see if you like the new features. And if you aren't comfortable, you can always go back to Recordbox 6. But I've pretty much switched full stop and I'll be using Recordbox 7 in the future, updating all my USB sticks that I play off of. And of course, if you enjoyed this DJ content, please be sure to give this video a like. And if you're looking for even more DJ content, be sure to click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.